We managed to fit 600 watts of solar on this 30 foot sailboat. Hit the maximum amount of solar on a boat like this, we did a couple things. The first is we got two flexible panels mounted on top of the bimini in a semi removable semi removable fashion so we can take them down if the wind gets high or if we want to take, fold the bimini up for the day or something like that. In addition to the two flexible panels, we have two fixed panels um, and one of them is mounted onto a set of drawer slides so we can slide it out when we're anchored or sailing downwind or if it's not very windy or motoring or something like that low wind conditions calm seas that we can slide out the second panel and have a total of 400 watts so we have two 200 watt panels to get that putting it on the drawer slide allows us to have a lot of solar area when the conditions are right then allows us to bring it in if it's rough or we're sailing upwind or anything like that that we can reduce the size of the array and have less performance hit from that building on a little bit of experience here um, we put solar on our van two years ago it was last summer it was last summer and we went with um cheap panels and a cheap charge controller and we decided not to go the same route this time we went with um, middle of the road panels so these are rich solar panels and then Renology flexible panels we went with um, Victron charge controllers so this wasn't our original design for this we originally were thinking about coming out with a set two sets four sets of 100 watt panels and having it um, slide out towards the side of the boat. And we were just about to scrap this idea. I was just about to scrap that idea when Gwen came up with the idea. Hey, you numb nuts. Have it slide aft instead of having it slide sideways, which solves a whole bunch of problems by doing it that way. First of all, it gets half as complicated because you only have one sliding panel. Then the second thing is the big things it solves is it doesn't hang off the side of the boat very far, which was a big issue. In addition to changing the design from a sideways sliding to a aft sliding panel, we did go back and forth on a bunch of materials and eventually settled on the 80-20 for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's easy to work with. You can cut it with like a regular chop saw and then you can bolt pretty much anything to it at any spot because it's got this little channel and it's got little special nuts that slide into the channel that you put a bolt into. So it's really easy to work with that you can adjust something and not have to drill new holes. You just kind of loosen the screws and tweak it around. You can see I've already attached our GPS antenna on it. And I'm probably going to eventually going to ch change our stern light to be on the bottom. It's just super easy to work with. It made the project pretty simple. So the, the sl sliding panel is operated by two sets of control lines. One that pulls it out and then a second one to pull it back in. And it's just a continuous loop of line that goes back to a cleat. So that's a pretty simple setup. And we have a, a bungee cord up, up inside the panel that keeps all the excess wire tucked up in and so it's not hanging down or anything like that. We did this our standard DIY way because a real solar arch would cost half as much as this boat's worth and that doesn't make any sense. Um, so we made our own solar arch out of some 80-20 aluminum extrusions, brackets, aluminum um, bar stock, and finally some stainless steel tubing and some standard rail fittings. So on the back edge of the solar mount, I think we'll call it, right? Because it's not an arch. It's not arch shaped. It's, no. It's like a solar rectangle. <laughs> it's a solar rectangle. Our solar rectangle is supported by stainless steel tubing on the back that goes to the stern rail and I have um, two sets on each side um, on an angle. So that provides some 
triangulation prevents it from trying to pump fore and aft or slide side to side, or wiggle side to side. So the tubes hold the rear portion of the solar panel and the front is supported by the bimini top. So we got a bracket that comes down to the bimini and up to the frame. And we did one thing, we did replace our bimini had ropes fore and aft to kind of hold it in position and we did replace that with a stainless steel tube which stiffened everything up quite a bit. Just real quick, we're gonna dive into this more in our electrical video, but um, because this panel covers this, because um, this panel slides over this panel and shades it entirely, we do have each one of the 200 watt panels on its own charge controller. And then because there are different type of panel, we have the flexible panels on a third charge controller. In our next episode, we're gonna talk about how this solar system ties in with the rest of our electrical system.